How's it going everyone? Today we are going to be taking a look at the WE Glock 19, Gen 3, and Gen 5. Now I have reviewed the Glock 19X before and a lot of you guys have asked for the 19, so here it is. The Glock 19X that I reviewed was the MOS version. That just means that you can mount RMRs to it, you can mount optics to it, it just has a little plate on the top that you can put whatever you want on it to really dress up the pistol. Now this gun does not have that, but I think that's fine because this is more of a beginner's type gun in the first place. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about build materials. They're both polymer frame pistols with metal slides. Now the metal slide is not going to be all that strong. I have broken a slide actually on a Glock 26 that was made by WE. I've never heard of that happening in Airsoft apart from some Tokyo Marui plastic slides, but I was just surprised that that happened. The main differences between the Glock 19 Gen 3 and Gen 5 are going to be in the frame. Now the Gen 3 is going to feature some grooves on the fingers and is going to be just a little bit thicker, about 0.05 inches, which is not really going to be noticeable to anyone. Now the stippling on the Gen 5 is a little bit more aggressive, which is nice, and it does feature a very small flared magwell. I do love flared magwells and I wish more guns had them, but what can you do? Now both of these guns are going to have the same trigger, same sights, the same blowback, and everything's going to feel and shoot very similarly. The only differences are all cosmetic. Now the only difference I could find on the slide was that the Gen 5 has a much more chamfered front of the slide, if that makes any sense, and the Gen 3 has a much smaller chamfer. The magazine is a full metal dropout magazine and is going to hold about 19 BBs. Both of these magazines are completely interchangeable, which is great if you already have a Gen 3, then you wanna to upgrade to the Gen 5, then you can keep all of your magazines and that's going to save you a lot of money. Now, both of these can also fit in these same exact holsters. So if you have a Gen 3, you want to upgrade to the Gen 5, that's going to be very easy because every accessory that you have on your Gen 3 is going to work in the Gen 5. Okay, so at the end of the day, does it matter which Gen you get? Gen 3, Gen 5, it's going to shoot very similarly. The only differences are going to be ergonomics. So it is entirely up to you. Which one do you think feels better in your hand? Um, I would just recommend if you can go into a shop and feel them out for yourself, see which one you like better, and know that shooting is going to be very similar on both of them. Okay, now onto the shooting. These are both going to shoot very similarly because they have the same exact internals, the same inner barrel, same blowback unit, and they're gonna use the same magazine, so feeding is going to be the same. You can expect groupings around six inches from 30 feet away, which I think is very acceptable. Both of these guns are going to feature the same trigger, and I'm not a fan of Glock triggers. I like 1911 triggers much better. They are much shorter, much more snappy, you can shoot much faster. For the Glock trigger, I feel as though the trigger pull is a bit longer, so that does affect how fast your follow-up shots are going to be, but I feel as though with enough practice, you can become very proficient in it. So to summarize, I think that the build materials were pretty good. I would be a little bit concerned about the slide breaking because I have had that happen, as I said, with the Glock 26. That said, after about a thousand rounds through these Glock 19s, I have not noticed any slide issues apart from just a little bit of paint that's chipping off. Accuracy was pretty good, speed was pretty good. All in all, I would say that it's just a very nice beginner's gun. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like and comment below what you would prefer, either the Gen 3 or the Gen 5. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.